So you're getting views on your short form content, but you're not getting views on your longer form content. And you're probably wondering why, like why are shorts doing okay, but my long form content is just not going anywhere. What's going on? Well, we're gonna talk about it. And I'm going to explain to you the difference between long form content on YouTube and the short form content on YouTube so that you can know exactly what it is that you need to do in order to start getting more activity on your longer form videos. And we're starting, and a dog here. And we're starting right now. Okay, so the difference when it comes to YouTube shorts and the long form content is when you are getting views on your YouTube shorts, nobody has to make the choice to click on your short and start watching your short. What happens is people are on their phones and they're going through the shorts feed on their phones or on computers. And as they're going through the shorts feed, YouTube is just presenting your content to them. And because of that, they're not making the choice to actually click on it. They're just having your content happen to them or it's being presented to them. And that's just how the short shelf works. And it works that way on YouTube. It works that way on TikTok. It works that way on Instagram Reels. They just all keep showing things to people and people just keep swiping and swiping and swiping until they find things to watch that they enjoy or they just keep swiping and keep swiping for five hours until they realize that they've spent all of this time staring at their phones. Guilty. But the long form content, it's a totally different game because when it comes to the long form content, the reason that you are having trouble getting views on the long form content is because people have to make the choice to click on what it is that you make. In addition to that, once they do click on your videos, then people have to have a positive response to your content and further engage with it in order for YouTube to deem it as a satisfactory experience for that viewer, which then will in turn cause YouTube to show it to more people on the platform who use YouTube like the people that are enjoying it. So what happens is this. Content creators, they upload a short and they start getting those views and they start thinking to themselves like, oh, sweet, you know, I'm getting views on this. Like people are enjoying my shorts. I'm getting a lot of views. YouTube's showing it to a lot of people. And you start getting that confirmation which in my opinion, I think is great because then for new content creators, it's encouraging because you're getting results. Uh, it seems like you're getting results immediately, which is awesome. But with the long form content, it doesn't work that way. So here's what you have to make sure that you're doing when it comes to the long form content. You need to make sure that when you're putting your thumbnails and your titles together, you're, that you're thinking to yourself, if the person that I'm trying to reach with this content or the people that I'm trying to reach with this content, if it were to show up, if my thumbnail and title were to show up on their homepage, what about this thumbnail and title combination would cause somebody to one, identify that this content is something they might be interested in, and two, what about that thumbnail and title combination would cause the people that you're trying to reach to click on your title and thumbnail? If you run every thumbnail and title that you use on your long form content through that filter, then you're automatically gonna start getting more clicks because you're being a lot more intentional and you're defining why people would be likely to click on what it is that you're doing. But keep in mind, People clicking isn't enough, right? And this is another thing that causes that separation. People clicking on your thumbnail title, it's not enough. So once they do click on your thumbnail and title and they start interacting with your content, what happens after they click is another, like the most important thing really in terms of how your videos are gonna perform on the platform. If people enjoy your content, YouTube's gonna keep showing it to people. If they don't further engage or they don't watch it for a longer period of time, then in that case, YouTube's not gonna keep showing it to people. And instead, they're going to move other content into the place of your content that is proven to perform on the platform, proven to get clicks, proven to keep people watching and enjoying the content and proven to get people to further engage. So if you're getting views on the short form content, but not the long form content, then what that means is that you need to get to work on learning how to get people to click more and learning how to make better long form content so that people will respond to it better so that it'll perform better within the system. And to learn how to keep people watching your videos for a longer period of time, click into this playlist right here. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.